Come on. Uh, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. And yeah, as is obvious, something is going wrong with the test already. So give me a moment to try and fix this. Because this somehow decided to change shape again. So yeah, for one, for one, your audio is missing from this. So give me a, see, a second on that. Uh, where is... Yeah, Discord here, copy, and add that in here. So now you should be audible. Hello. Okay. <laughs> yeah, live, everybody. And, okay, the intro game, wait, wait breath, freaking game sound is missing in this as well. I thought I'd set that up already. Um, Wait, who's Mike? Now the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's. There. Yeah, that should be better. Uh, yeah, as I said, this is all a test. The game might actually be a bit small for this, but it's currently at 19, uh, 20 by 1080 on this. I could probably enlarge it to like there, perhaps. Uh, move myself away some. Okay. Uh, I'll start the timer at this point because, well, <laughs> technical stupidities. So, yeah. Hello, everyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, Hillian, as well as. Akir! And welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Whilst we are, yeah, testing out how well this VTube stuff works for me with this. Uh, th this model I've been making myself, it has taken quite a, a bit of time and it's not actually that good because, well, I'm I'm lazy and tend to get distracted with things. But hopefully this will work well enough and otherwise I know someone I can ask for advice probably. It looks fine to me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I probably won't be using this for everything, and I should keep in mind to look forward, because that's when the model is also looking forwards. So yeah, I, I'm not sure how often I will use this, but I'm thinking about using it for at least the weekend stuff, uh, at least with Showcase Sunday, but yeah, enough chatter, let's get back into the game here. Yeah, and the people who wonder why he has an eye patch, uh, earlier ship breaking in accident. <laughs> I got a rock into eye. Okay, uh, let's see. It's been a while since we've been busy with this game. And might have enlarged the game a bit too much because it's blocking <laughs> Kabuto's face in the background. But oh well, this is all of a test and yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe this bar above me was too wide anyways. Okay, back to this. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Let's see, normal stuff. The game has been updated, which is why we're back to streaming it. And I, on instinct, look back to the camera, uh, which doesn't really work with the VTuber since it makes it look like I'm walking off screen. Uh, there has been an update. I'm, not sure if more story has been added, but there has been a new ship model at the least. Uh, so yeah, we'll be trying. We'll, oh come on! Let's 
Let me know. Uh, let's see. We need all of those. We, we need a lot of wires next. Okay. Well, yeah, so, a, we didn't do all the story the last time we played. We took a little bit of a pause. Yeah, because it, it probably would take quite a bit still to get through all of the story that is available. So, yeah, I'm guessing we'll do one or maybe two streams with this now to see yeah, what is new and all. Let's see. Is there any equipment that needs repairing? Uh, not really. I, I'd spare stuff for when it starts getting down to 60 or 50%. So let's just start our stream then. Start our shift, not our stream. <laughs> oh, hello, current ship. This has been changed. Let's see, we have has a level of the B. Okay, this is the new one, the Atlas type, I believe. Okay, Rouse type out Tog, industrial, last owner. Yeah, this is definitely different. Let's see, it has one power cell, four of these quasar thrusters, and a class one reactor. Okay, has it level four. And we have, okay, we have quite a bit of extra choice now. No, oh, n another Atlas type. I believe these are... There's many Atlas. Yeah. We have Tug, we have Nomad Cargo. Then we have a Mackerel, which is the basic stuff. Oh, a Scout Patrol? Okay, that sounds interesting. Wait, another Mackerel. they are military? Uh, Link Last owner, Lynx Corporation, Salvage and Reclamation. It looks more military, but it's not. There's more scout patrol craft. Yeah. Makes me wonder, like... Uh, yeah, if you hear a scout patrol, like, that's... That sounds military. Okay, which type shall we take? Uh, the One of the tugboats? The scouts? Or the nomad cargo? Choice is yours, here. Oh, dear. You, you give me a bit of list of the choice here. Yep. But it only cost you an eyeball last time, so... Uh, I guess the scout ship. All right, then. Start on this. Yes, we have no ship in the cargo bay, so this doesn't matter anyways. Okay. Let's see how this thing is going to end up looking. There's still one more, sh well, actually two more ship types after this one that we haven't seen on stream with this yet. Okay, break. Oop, bit of stuttering as everything starts up. And this thing is oh, pressurized. I was wondering, where's the fire? And the blue light, and yeah, now they're uh, there. All right. Um, last I heard, the game isn't fully out yet, but they they do have the things planned for it for the 1.0 release, and which would well in time which would add in all the remaining bits of the story. When that is planned, though, I don't really know. Okay, um. Wait, there we go. It has been a while since I need to go. <laughs> I need to get the feeling for the controls again for a moment. Okay, these are the turns and the brake. Here we have the going down. Here we have the cutter. Okay. Uh, hmm, wait, have we? Actually, I think my controls have been reset somewhat. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll need to... Okay, that was, looked a lot more like something was going to blow up in my face or something. Hmm. I think we had it happen before that uh, my the controls got reset after one of the updates. Maybe? Hmm. Okay, it just means that we'll have to re well, we have to change those back after this. Yeah. I 
very much remember that Q and E were moving side to side and not turning. What the heck is that uh, emblem? I hope the stream is getting the footage good. I'll have to get. Yeah, I'll have to it's, either put more work into making moment. a better overlay. It, it's really good on my end at the moment. Yeah, yep. Okay, stellar commission, orbital guard. Okay, so local systems. So basically, the space coast guard. Sort of, yeah. Okay. Now where? There is the airlock. Okay. So I guess orbital guard makes sense, since well, you're in the orbit. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Actually, I think I'm just going to change the controls right here and now because this is annoying the hell out of me because muscle memory is getting in the way. Uh, controls, key mapping. Uh, where are they? Then which are the movements? Ascend, trust left. That is going to be Q. Yes, want to continue. That's right, it's going to be E. Yes, shut up about this. And then we're changing that to D. And that to A. Why? Where is it also in use then if it's complaining about it being in use? Hmm. Break, simultaneous loose. Okay. Now that should make, that should correct things to how we had them beforehand. That feels a lot more better for me. That pixelated my screen a lot. So I guess it just needs a little bit to stabilize. Okay. Uh, hello. I'll be taking that. And something is causing a lot of interference already. So that must mean that the core is somewhere nearby already. It, it is a rather tiny craft. Oop. Oh. Uh, <laughs> pressure difference. <laughs> I forgot about that. Luckily, we didn't get hit in the head by anything. Still open that back up again. Yeah, we uh, prefer you to keep both eyes. Uh, at least one eye. <laughs> oh, is that opening that? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is our first double-decker ship. And this one will be for cockpits. And I saw Wait, a data that's... recorder fly by. Oh, uh... Is that the correct oh, oh, use come on. of double decker? Something damaged Wait. the reactor. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that other than retreat. <laughs> run away! Bravely run away! Well, I uh, guess we'll get to see what happens when one of these goes boom. How could that have been hit by something in the cockpit? Or is it... Wait, is that thing in the cockpit or something? Don't tell me they are actually dumb enough to put up react... Actually, we've had cases where reactors have been right next to the cockpit, so putting one right in the middle doesn't actually sound that dumb. Oh well, let's enjoy the fireworks. Happy early 4th of July. Okay. <laughs> we look up on the progress bar. Yeah, that. That's still with only a, about a quarter of the vessel. Wait. Wait. Did it break a faulty ship for you? Partially, at least. So yeah, that's that was still a loss, I'd say. But uh, well, we could have. Well, it could have. We could have lost a lot more than that. Oh, okay. well, we've had our first fail of the day, so, or rather night. Still, <laughs> that's a lesson learned, so we'll avoid that next time. And this is the first where the, this actually comes out in a nice piece. All right, then. It's going on with the cat. 
don't tell me. But is your camera a bit shaky? Mm, no. Yeah, why do you ask? Am I having that weird shakiness thing going on again? Shakiness with what? Details. On the Context. As in, the, 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 what you share to me is uh, having a bit of a weird vibrating lag. On the gameplay or on the gameplay. virtual camera? Okay, gameplay. that's odd. No, okay, now it's normal. Okay, I might need to change the quality or speed at which you get it then, because it's currently set for 720 at 60 FPS to be sent to you, I think. You might need to lower that to 30 FPS to help with that. But it's at least normal now again. Okay. For now, let's just keep picking through our, our rubbish and see what else this thing has to offer now that, well, we, <laughs> we've got the biggest hazard out of the way. As well as some fuel and such. But still, as long as we can get half a million out of all of this, we should still be good. I said it was good it put uh, tore the ship apart a little bit for, but... It was not a little bit it tore the ship apart. <laughs> okay, we need wires, so we need to screw with the electronics. Okay. Oh, oh, let's move this thing. What is this here? Oh, a light. <laughs> well, how did you survive? Okay. Pull out more of this stuff. And what is that? Okay, that's a cut point on the side there. Why are you actually... Oh yeah, this is processor material and this is furnace. Did they add it so that the cockpits are a lot more easier to pull apart without destroying stuff? Because that's that was something that we had quite a bit with the other models, or at least the macros. That, yeah, a, a good chunk of the <clears throat> cockpit was just another pain to pull apart if you'd want to go for as much stuff as possible. There's a maybe or this model is just easier to do that with. True. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe do another macro for a quick buck. And a turn. Turning the long way. This model, this thing is new. Let's see. How much do we. Okay, you are a big chunky one. And let's not bang ourselves in the face with that too much. And. Launch and see how much you're worth. You have wires that we need, but you also look a bit pricey. Okay, 25k. Yeah, There's probably cheaper things for us to tear apart, like uh, consoles and such. Uh, Lord, you have apart, so many pieces! <laughs> yeah, I it's take like... that back. I think what I take back is saying, uh, oh, at least it uh, put the uh, ship apart a bit for you to make it easier. No. no. We have one way to help ease with this. I think all these pieces made it worse. Now we're playing space bowling. <laughs> uh, this takes quite a bit of processing, I presume, to just have each of these little bits flying around like this. It's, <laughs> it's like someone from uh, Metal Gear Revengeance got to work on this ship or something. <laughs> And we'll get to that uh, game eventually. Uh, with Metal Gear Rising? Yeah. Or... Which game you meant again? Uh, yeah, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yeah. Which is still a rather s an extremely silly name. Yeah, and I have to confess, I've been listening to several of the soundtracks of late. And yeah, it's damn good. That certainly can be said about it. <laughs> okay, I saw something from the bars floating between here, or was that one of the lights? Oh, before we get, I to here I have something wholesome or very nice thing I wanted to share on stream today. 
Okay. And it's about Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. Okay. While he directed movies, made movies, he had one rule that he, he always did. And that was hire at, le every at least 10 homeless people. Okay, that's something I didn't and, know. And there's, there's more. Before he died, again, may he rest in peace, he had uh, hired w over 1,500 homeless people. Okay, <laughs> that's good to hear. It at least give them some chance at uh, living a more normal life. Yeah, so... Yeah. Mm, My seen... respect goes to Robin Williams, to restoring some faith in humanity. Yeah. Yeah, home homelessness is not really... Well, you could, in part, call it a problem of the people uh, who suffer it, but for the most of it, it's... Yeah, that a lot of housing is just completely unaffordable on low... Uh, st and, yeah, that, that's a whole thing that we could get into, but let's not, and just, well, we are, we're talking about shitty uh, uh, work stuff whilst we're playing a game that takes place in a world with a lot of shitty work stuff. But, yeah, let's at least focus on the fictional side of this for the moment. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, the point I want to say is just how good hard the wrong wheel was to help people like that. Yeah, apparently for... I forget what it was, but for one of... I think it was for his role as the, the genie in Aladdin. I think there was like... There's like 30 hours of unused material from him doing bits as the character. <laughs> How many hours? Some 30 or 32 or something. I forget the exact amount at the moment. But a lot. The sad thing is that we're probably never going to see that because, well, Disney. It might be okay, sitting no. on a gold mine. Yeah. Oh god, I, I remember Blooper. Blubber? Blooper? That's the correct term? Uh, Flubber. The, no, not Green the Jody movie. Thing. No, no, hmm? not the movie, not the movie. <laughs> I mean, like it. <laughs> Scenes you see when they try to produce uh, scenes that they don't get in because they have to redo the scene over and over. Uh, bloopers. Bloopers! Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It was one of the bloopers, it was when Robin Williams was talking to Elmo. <laughs> that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you know which one I'm talking about when he threatens Elmo. Uh, not really he's threatened, but uh, he's basically saying it. <laughs> <laughs> El, El, for context on that, uh, it was, uh, yeah, recordings for a bit with him for Sesame Street and such. Uh, he did a lot of bits uh, of yeah, how to basically have fun with just yeah, simple stuff like just a stick. And at the end with it, uh, <laughs> it's Elmo's line finally, and he gets his name wrong. He calls him Mr. Robbins or something, <laughs> getting his name in reverse. And I just... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Williams just uh, takes his stick and goes home with it, right by the way, in the mock insult. <laughs> and then you just see Elmo collapsing in <laughs> from the puppeteer being just so <laughs> embarrassed from freaking up his name. <laughs> uh. I recall he also joyfully threatened Elmo once. I feel like uh. just could not resist doing the, a joke with it. But yeah, he's he's a damn good man. Yeah, it's a sad thing. Yeah, what happened with him? I'll leave it at that. Yeah, may you rest uh. in peace. At least he left a pleasant legacy. Yeah, and which is worth remembering and talking about. Since yeah, the good memories will then live on. Uh, remember them as they were at their best, not at their worst. Yeah. Uh, is that a new poster? I think those two are new posters. I think so. So let's grab those. This one, Dr. Dorsey. Oh, God. Uh, I think we have this one already, and that is one of the CEOs of uh, Lynx. So, actually. 
Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I know credits. Yes, 2000 isn't that much compared to the, all the other stuff we have. We but can it's, find. it's a lot for a poster. Yeah. And again, we did speculate that this world is probably it has inflation up the ass so far that it's come back around again. Uh, point taken. Okay. And I can say this, that poster was, was sadly ugly. Just, that smile just looked it wrong. Yep. Okay. Got the bottom plate loose. Wait, oh, what, can we open them? I don't think so, no. Okay. Now, with this one loose. Uh, that is also goes to the processor. All right, get going. And somehow I didn't know it's all of the, the, the yeah, all of the little debris that was in the way there. <laughs> yeah, note to self. Avoid that happening in future. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure, at first it looked like it made the job for us. But, yeah, you see yourself, uh, the problems. It didn't do the job a bit too well. Uh, what oh, the heck? These is are really worth it. Okay, I'll just destroy one for the wires and send off the other. Probably better to... Nope, not... Come on, keep your hands. Send it off. <laughs> Our character has a bit of a sticky finger problem. Okay. Back to this. Okay. At least we're getting a bit of a preview of how this thing is stuck together. So we'll know better how to pull it apart, I think. Actually, is this attached anywhere still? And yeah, we also know one of the places where the freaking reactor might be. <laughs> uh. Is there any remains of the reactor? Nope. Then how do we know? Oh, where where the explosion happens for one, which was for some reason right next to the freaking cockpit. Then again, this thing is a bit small. Oh, where's that? I thought I saw a surveillance camera. Okay, it was just a random junk. Uh, that's not attached to anything, so we can just leave it be. Okay, let's remove some of the bigger chunks. Okay, fuel, we can still go on for a while. Um, hmm. Is this just one giant ass piece right on the side here? Let's see, any more? There is that one that touched earlier. Huh. Oh, hello, we have some stuff in here that. Wait, is that the engine? Uh, how do we even get in there? Don't tell me that's a secondary reactor that somehow survived. It would give us a decent amount of pay. Okay. Just don't blow it up as well. <laughs> no promises. Let's see. Navigation table. Okay. That's also a new thing. So let's see right, just how much you're that looks high. That looks high tech. That I can see why they won't uh, barge on for. Yeah, it's an entire navigation thing. Okay, 87,000. Oh, these are single terminals, so these should be a lot cheaper to just tear apart. I say that I'm 72. Wait, how are these more expensive than this, the double ones? <laughs> They're probably yeah. like MP3s and something like that. Okay, off you go. Now, as long as we can get to the second salvage level, I'll, I think we'll be good. Okay, for a moment I thought that wasn't destroyed, even with how it scorched it looks. <laughs> okay. And the bed. Seems like... Bed. Uh, for a moment I thought the, the mattresses must have burnt away, but no. 
Okay. They want you to burn the mattress. Yep. You, you should be able to recycle it. No. Well, I'm pretty sure most people thing. wouldn't want to use a recycled mattress. Uh, Kilian, yeah. it's a thing. People recycle cloth. True, but not entire mattresses. And really? yeah, it looks like this thing is just going in one piece. Like, I, I, I worked in a second hair slash thrift store before. Uh, the name, depending on which, you know, where you're from. And... Yeah, any mattresses that we got that got just got dunked into the trash. Ah. See, let's pluck that little berry and send it off. Salvage security. Airlock console for four. four okay, four hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, they must have rebalanced the price of things again or something. Because I'm pretty sure those aren't supposed to be that bright, uh, that, uh, yeah, worth that much. Send that there. And we should be able to get this moving as well then. Yeah, there it goes. And then we're left with the tail alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bit of timing. Okay, might as well fill up on fuel and tethers. I'm kind of surprised there isn't like a beeping noise to notify that uh, you are low on fuel or something like that. We know that the, the AI starts complaining at us when they we get to a certain amount, but still. Or may, actually, a lot of people find beeping noises like that to notify. Oh, hello, there was something. It gets annoying quite quickly. Yeah. And very there stress go. inducing. <laughs> okay, from all of that, we pluck this out. Yeah, just an example. I think everyone remembers people, YouTubers playing in Subnautica when the AI stopped telling you you're run out of air. Yeah. Many YouTubers end up swearing at the AI. Door. Okay, the core has been mostly dealt with, it seems. Most of this is just all furnace stuff. I say that and I see a little bit for the processor. Okay, off you go. Now, how do we deal with this thing? Oh, they're actually separate. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing I'll have to go in for the back. Yeah. Oh, we should probably look check inside it. Oh. Access panel, okay. Send you that way. Just making sure it doesn't get sucked into that. Okay. That. Um, I forget if that means that it's pressurized or not. It I guess it's, it wouldn't make sense for a yeah an engine chamber to be pressurized, but we'll find out <laughs> in a bit sooner or later. Okay. I'm guessing from that puff that they were or are pressurized. Hmm. It's a big ass thruster nozzle. Okay, and I've actually I've been doing this in a bit of a dumb way because now I've removed it. Um, yeah, I've moved back and forth instead of just removing them on both sides at once. Hmm. Okay. Barge. The entire thing. Yep, <laughs> that's probably the biggest thing we've ever thrown into the barge. Okay, you. I guess it's better to uh, reuse an entire nozzle than in the build a new one. Yep. Okay. So that, like, do they do look like they are in good quality? Like, compared to the rest of the ship, they don't look worn out. Hmm. 
send that off as well. Now, how much are you things worth? Let's see, 55,000. Which is actually only a bit more than a, a freaking airlock console. Okay, these are these quasar thrusters. Let's see. You are full of fuel, so we'll have to be careful. Then there's something spinning in there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Can we squeeze past this? Because we'd rather empty this thing of fuel first. Hmm, can't seem to. Let's see. Any other access panels or something? Has to be something connecting these things to the rest of the ship. You know, they, uh, I, I can't. I stay surprised. The nozzles looked in better condition than the rest of the ship. Oh, what have we here? A little gas. I said there was no mispainting no. or rust. Hmm. Let's see. Are there really no other entry points? Because I'd rather not have to blow one up uh, to get even past them. Or, oh dear. Hmm. Can I pull that out as one giant chunk or something? I have to give that a try. No. It's all. It's. <clears throat> it's hooked down somewhere. And yeah, we can't sneak past. Plus, switch is over there. Hmm. So it looks like we really need to have some way to get into these things on the other side. But that's nanocarbon on, at the edge here, so the only way we would be able to get in would be with demo charges, which we don't have access to. Hmm. Okay, so we might not be able to hit that second mark anyways then. Let's give this thing one more pass to look around everywhere. Yeah. I think you can just cut off the pipes, but then I know what will happen if you do. Yeah, boom. <laughs> We've already had one boom today. <laughs> and it probably won't be the last. This thing is actually two halves. Hmm. Ooh. Maybe can you put that to use? If we could... Okay. Wait, what the heck is that big chunky pot there? Uh, which one specifically? The grey one. That, the regulator. Mm -hmm. Two regulators. There is something over there at the end that can be cut, but I don't think we can actually see it, and our, this certainly isn't going to reach that far. So we might actually have to sacrifice one of these things. Let's see, that's a fuel injector. It's completely stuck. Is there really no way to sneak, to creep past these things or to enter them elsewhere? Hmm. Is there a connecting piece somewhere that we can remove still? Maybe that? Yeah, I've grabbed these a few times now. Hmm. Okay, how do I crack you open without actually blowing you up? Hmm. We might not be able to, so I guess at the moment the best we can do is to just drop, <laughs> drop one completely into the barge, or at least have the fuel system be counted. And the react and <laughs> and the thrusters. We won't be able to get the, all of this paneling on top of it, but I'm guessing the fuel system will be the most valuable stuff. So yeah, just leave that to its slow descent. Actually, let's speed it up a bit. In the meantime, all of that can go into the furnace. Yeah, it is a big ass thing. <laughs> Pardon? 
Kevin. Okay. Now, how much are you going to count for those things, if you are even going to count them? Because it certainly doesn't count all of the paneling. There we go. 160,000 for a fuel injector. 14, uh, 140,000 for a quasar thruster. A few lights, come on. And f a fuel tank, okay. Yeah, so this is worth it to just drop it in there. Hmm. At somewhere a piece of aluminium floated. But no, but... Oh, wait. Well, it must be fun. Yeah, that going in there. Okay, that... <laughs> <laughs> that looks like quite the thing to just see it disintegrate in there. I don't see it due to it. It decided to go pixelated again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really have to look forward to when your internet finally gets upgraded, huh? Yeah. We, we have what we can do it now at least. Just. Uh, they are so busy around here that they haven't gotten time. And if we do it, we're gonna have my little brother to help them to pick the right speed. Okay, almost. Can we get the last bit by just throwing chunks around him? Oh, there you go, now it's no longer pixelated. Okay, you go into the furnace. You go there. Can we get... The second mark. Hmm. A, a door console. Okay. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Uh, you're a decent chunk. And okay. Our first encounter with one of these atlases could have gone worse. Certainly could have gone better as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something with you and airlocks that don't go together. Yeah, I was being hasty and forgetting to check if things were pressurized or not. And we are slowly but surely inching towards that thing. Towards the second mark. Oh, I see something barge related here. Atmosphere regulator. How did that survive? Is that enough? Oh, that is a good chunk. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Okay. Yeah, we definitely can reach it now. We just need to find some good pieces. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. And then we can move on. Oh, you are you are definitely going to push us over, I think. Watch it not do that. Come on. Yeah, not enough. Right. The moment that we hit the mark, we're going to move out. Yep. To speak of the devil. Okay. Let's not crash into our own place. Actually, smack. Uh, trying to take a guess as to where our habitat actually may be, because this isn't actually where we stay, because we can see this place from out uh, from our place, so it would be around there somewhere. Maybe? We can compare in a bit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Thruster dangerously unstable. Okay. 31.1% destroyed. <laughs> uh, we still got 2.6 million out of that. And a new rank. Level has been achieved. License level increased. All right. Now, have they changed the amount that the debt increases with as well? I forgot to look earlier. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Let's see, Habitat Enrichment Department, new hat poster. Oh yeah, we, 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 we have that now because we picked it up ourselves. 
Uh, let's see. Pa systems power generator. Uh, you are now authorized to work on salvage containing power generators. Power generators are connected to a distributed uh, breaker system uh, to manage flow and output. To salvage safely, remove the fuses at each breaker. Indicator lights on the breaker show the electrical current level. Fuses are safest to extract when they're uh, <clears throat> when at zero current. Once all fuses have been removed, the power generator will be safe to extract. Of course, it doesn't say uh, which light it shows when it is at zero current. Okay, new ship tank, Javelin tanker medium. A larger and more complex build of the Helix Heavy Industries Javelin, up to 70 meters in length, and outfitted with a Class 2 reactor. We know our customers want to avoid those pesky uh, dock and fuel subcharges. The mid-size refueler is the perfect choice for transporting your fleet's own uh, fuel supply. I'll run a, a Saudi CEO Heavy Helix Industries. Okay, still about half a million each day that gets added to the debt. All right. Got a bit of a surprise for you this morning, 52. Well, uh, I, I think we should talk this through a bit more before we... Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Something you'll learn about being a manager. Always be pushing your people. It's how they grow. Now, I see so much confidence on this crew. I think it's time to bump everyone up a hazard level. Hal, this is too soon. I really don't see eye to eye with you on this. Well, sometimes you need an outside perspective on things. All right, Joseph. Go ahead and train up 52 here when they're ready. Uh, sorry, Cutter. I'll help ease you into this. Let me know when you're ready to start training. Weaver out. He's actively trying to get us killed, isn't he? Because, no, an outsider's perspective, yes, at times is useful, but not when dealing with freaking uh, hazardous materials. Uh, and pushing... Yep, yeah, of course you need to push your people somewhat, but not push them into an early grave. Yeah, uh, and th that's, that's good uh, pushing and bad pushing. Yeah, like pushing up the stairs them, sure. and pushing downstairs. Yeah, like motivate them, make them feel good and help them. Yeah, feel motivated and all that in a good way. Let's see. We set. Oh, we have three new ones here. Uh, object modes. Uh, we already know about that. Scout. Okay, this is new. Uh, solar winds at your back, cosmic dust flying by, the speed of a comet at your fingertips. Meet the Atlas, Atlas Scout, purpose engineered uh, for getting away and ba back in the blink of an eye. Sporting a pair of Star Leap Priority Quasar Thrusters, the Scout ensures you're able to cover a lot of ground quickly. Um, Atlas, powerful, dependable, enduring, the foundation of a better world. Here they are. That's mm -hmm. the ship you blew up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 and the Atlas Nomad, in the vast expanses between ports, the only per person you have to rely on, on, you have to depend on, is yourself. Only one ship is built for life on the rails: the Atlas Nomad. Designed for the independent hauler, the Nomad's spacious sleeper cabin is a home away from home, boasting every essential amenity. With three rugged quasar thrusters, ample uh, cargo space, and modular ex uh, exterior storage, Nomad is truly the answer to long-distance, long-term hauling. Uh, same as before, with the motto, and the roustabout. Unparalleled, uh, what? Oh, un <laughs> unparalleled brawn, not brown. Unfaltering durability, unmatched power. When the job site requires a tireless workhorse, call on the Atlas roustabouts. Four quasar thrusters and high uh, output power stations give the roustabout peerless strength. Reinforced tow towers and push pads provide maximum worker utility. Whether working, construction, salvage, or demolition, the roustabout lets you handle the hardest jobs with ease. Okay. Okay. And what have we here that we can add Hi, on? Don't worry. That the ship is here to fix your ship right up. Okay, nothing we can add. We just, we still need seven more cables to progress on that. And what is the data that we recovered? Let's see. Not here, there's still a commission. Two out of three. 
It wasn't until 2283, during the wake of the AI revolution, that the Stellar Commission found the grid we deserved from them for so long. It was here where we can chalk up a clear win. Advanced AI systems were on the rise, decimating work opportunities for hundreds of millions across the solar system and causing unimaginable human suffering. Of course, large corporations, as always, had nothing more in mind than profit and were further spurred by their public image as the drivers of human advancement. However, finally finding their voice and the right tools to enact and enforce policy, the Stellar Commission, in an enormous pushback against corporate power, outlined new regulations around artificial intelligence, practically outlawing its use in order to safeguard human jobs. Better late than never, am I right? The corporate conglomerates have had simmering resentment ever since the, this moment of heavy regulation and strict enforcement. Today they are looking towards the Jupiter frontier, where once again the Commission's reach and oversight is sparse. And so the cycle repeats as a species, our greatest flaw seems to be to never learn from history, and that, there's some, and that there are some among us who would gladly grind their fellow humans into a pulp for a dollar. It appears we are doomed to repeat the mistakes of our past time and time again. <sighs> yeah, because there are always people who would rather not have us learn from the pa mistakes of the past. So they can abuse it. Now, let's have a little look. Yeah, that is where we work. So we are in the upper half of the ring, I'll call it. Hmm. Okay, now we have something to repair, I think. Uh, grapple and thrusters. Yeah, let's repair those. Yes. Yes. The scanner is doing good and we don't have demo charges yet. They only become available at rank 18, I think. Actually, we can check that at the upgrades part. I th uh, where? How do we get to repair this again? Yeah. How do you unlock them? Uh, no, here they are. And, oh, back. okay, we are. We can get them. It would take two thousand points. Uh, let's get that. Ah, I see you grabbed the demo charge license. Great choice. All right, Cutter. Now for some training on how to use. Just chuck them down and light them up. Should see a big boost in efficiency. And that's. Hey, Cutter, I'm a. Uh... Patching through the operation manual for those things. Be careful, okay? Hmm. Uh, we, we should have two practice shifts in now. We'll have to see how this goes. Uh, yeah, training. I know that's the current ship. Training. Okay, which specific type is this going to be? The power stations, I'm guessing? Or generators. Hmm. I already worried. But, but, but I thought I'd silenced you. Wait, what? Uh, my phone r rang. Oh. But you are silenced. What the hell? Where did that come from then? Yeah. I'm loading you anyways. You not silence me. Cutter. Gonna really need your full attention today. We're going over the power generator. Hold up now. Training time has not been authorized. We have quotas to meet, pal. Power generators are highly hazardous. Joseph, you gotta promote self-sufficiency in your team. Let 52 here hash it out. Nothing like a spare or two to let the lesson sink in. Pal, look, I gotta report if we're not hitting quotas. Don't want to draw Repulse's attention now, right? <sighs> All right, Cutter. I'm adding some tasks for you to follow for this shift only. Just make sure you pull the fuses before going for the power generator. This is Please avoid oh, damaging oh, valuables. Come on. You okay. just... I accidentally hit one of the coolant tanks behind here. Uh, okay, well, that wouldn't be too much of a loss. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, not too much, uh, according to the border thing. Uh, wait. Uh, hmm? Look, there's up to five now. 
Okay, that is quite a jump. Um, wait, these are cut points level 3. We can't cut these. Okay, how are we... Oh, I see already how we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, where are they? There they are. Uh-oh. Okay. Demo charges. Oh, yeah, maybe... Let's see. One of these is not enough to cut through and... Actually... Uh, let's see what happens if we put a single one on there, if it cuts through everything Great enough. Job, Cutter. Now just make sure to clear the area before detonating that bad boy. Okay now, you sure your charge is in the right spot? Measure twice, cut once, Cutter. Ready? Now give that trigger a squeeze. I think we might have accidentally overwrote... Uh, yeah, have... Overrode one of the missions with another like this. And lift off. See, Cutter? That's how it's done. Looks like you've been all the way. Yep. Um, let's see. There should be a way to swap these. Yeah, there we go. Similar to the normal cutter. And these parts make a good point for just plunking them down right on the Quote unquote dot. Let's see. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let it rip. There. Yes, they go off in sequence. It's a barge. Hmm. Yeah, barge item. But it's, an, it's part of the ion ring for which we still don't know exactly what that actually does. Hmm. Okay, just I'm keep moving you iron. You, Normally when you hear the word ion, I usually, they're usually in connection with uh, like iron cannon, iron rifle and such, like a weapon. Though, what iron I mean, is normally used for, I am not sure. With this I'm guessing some sort of uh, travel thing or maybe a shield of some sort. Either way, that chunk is in there. For a good 7,500. Okay. No, no. No, wait, no, you said like, never mind. Oh. No, you know you're wrong. It was 75,000. 75, yeah. Uh, you for, you <laughs> forgot Most everything zero has a bunch of zeros behind it. Still gotta be careful because those have quite a bang to them, even at a distance. Uh, yeah. Just a few more, and we can pull Wait. the rest of that thing apart. I just realized, you're only close to the ship here. Uh, it, this this thing is just freaking long. <laughs> That's what it is. Welcome to okay, then we charge us. Wait, how are we so low on fuel already again? Uh, you do you see the price for the demo charges? Uh, pricey, so yeah, don't use them too much. Yeah, basically, there is a reason to, especially you need to probably save up to upgrade your cutter. And I think it would be more worth it to just upgrade how many of those we can carry, because if I remember correctly, when you fill up on something like that, it fills up all the way. Even if it's, yeah, 4 or 12, we'd need to test that out, though. But for the moment, we're just going to keep pulling this thing apart. Wait, you mean you pay that much money regardless how much uh, you're buying? Yep. At, at least I think so. I haven't really used uh, demo charges too much before in this game, and they might have changed things with an update. Salvage. Okay. Yeah, basically it means then only buy them otherwise if you're out of them. Otherwise, yeah. don't buy them if you're only missing one. For that's just a waste of money. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Okay. No more tethers. No tethers remaining. So I'll still be able to move this thing a bit. Still better to use a tether there. 
Okay. So there's, yeah, 50,000. <laughs> you really need to make sure that whatever you're getting with those is worth it. And then again, each of the parts that we pulled from here did cover the cost, I think. Emphasis on think. Now, though, let's get in this thing. Remember, air pressure. Yep. <laughs> not going to. You're not getting. You're not going to set off another reactor. Okay. This is reacting. Three, two, one. Level increasing. Okay, yeah. What the heck are those? Hot dogs? Hmm? The thing's floating? Oh, th no, those are those are the oh. points from the, the ring. Okay, grab that. You could have stick. Is, the... is there an atmosphere regulator in here? Hmm. Let's see, we are in a pressurized area, but I'm not seeing any... Oh, hello. No, that's not it. It must be on the other side. The power generator is typically housed in these things. Okay. Um... Iron coil! Let's see. Yeah, we are going to have to depressurize into somewhere. Okay, what exactly is ion again? Uh, ion, ion, ion. Let me think. Uh, let me also. Uh, nope, not that. Uh, ions. I think they ions are generally considered to be highly charged particles. Well, there goes. <laughs> there goes one of the regulator. Okay, still intact. Still a good amount of stuff to pick, uh, yeah. pick up. Ooh, I saw something yummy! Oh, hello, data drive. You don't eat the driver, data drive. <laughs> you eat the ships. And what is this then? I guess that's supposed to be a, a tray of sorts. A bag of seeds? Hmm. Could be, maybe. Let's see, these posters we have already. Even a green one? Mm. Let's see, does it? Yeah, have to collect for the display. So yeah, it won't, it won't stop you from grabbing something, even if you already own it. Uh, hmm. Okay, time to open up more of this place. Yeah, for now. Yeah, all of this is depressurized. The next pressurized place is the other airlock there. There's one of them fuses, Cutter. See them blinking red lights? Yeah. Wait till they're off, and then pull the release lever. Okay. Wow. Now, don't forget to salvage that fuse. Let's grab on Oh, you need closer. to salvage them as well. Yeah. Makes sense. And go. For some reason, they got launched out. There we go. Actually, we can just pick you up. There we go. And cassette tape. Okay. What? I'm yeah, guessing someone on this ship was an old school lover. Okay. But seriously, with Hal to say that a few spares will help get the lesson across. Yeah, he is aware that we actually have to pay out the ass for those things. Yeah. Yeah, this Good this costs. entire job is just a death. Yeah, a death. What is the correct pronunciation? A death uh, trap. Yeah, death trap. And he is aware that you can get just get cloned. Yeah, at a high price. To keep us well trapped in this even longer. Uh, oh, you are going fast. Okay. 
That should be all of them, I think. Or at least I hope so. And let's see. But are you supposed to collect them or put them in the barge? Yeah, we can just collect them normally and they'll count as being sort of into the barge, I think. <laughs> let's hope that. Because we we have no we have no actual use for them ourselves at least at the moment. Okay, is this thing free now? It is. Okay. Ah, uh, there it is, the power generator. Now these beauties carry a heck of a charge, so be extra careful, or you'll be fried to a crisp. See those lights around it? Red means you need to disconnect more fuses before pulling this beast out. Well, a safe pull. Well done, Cutter. The rest should be a breeze. Just place it on the old barge. I have to say I had my suspicions of Weaver since he would have the of being well the one who ratted everyone out to uh, this <coughs> to corporates. But the way he's acting with all of this, it, it makes me question that possibility, since he does seem genuinely worried for the rest of us. Like I said, he could still have done it, but being unaware of... Uh, yeah. The consequences. Yeah. We'll just have to see how it goes as we continue on. Now we have this chicken to pull apart. Now, I think that should that have everything loose. That was close, Ilian. That was close. You almost burnt the damn stuff. Okay. I didn't, so yeah. And it would have been less of a mistake than the freaking reactor. It did oh, give it a slight surface burn. There should still be enough to sell. Speaking of... Uh, which way? That way. Uh, oh dear. Getting tired already? That's an oh. oh dear, not yawn. Well, it sounded like you were going to. Okay. I think maybe I did, but I'm not that tired. Object accepted for program. Credits deposited. Yeah. Going away from the mic a little bit there. Hmm, let's see. All of these loose. Okay, we still have the guard cage, though. Um, how can we get that removed? Or is that already loose on its own like this? Let's see. Where are you connected? Or are you connected at all? You should be connected somewhere. Um, let's see. Hmm. Right? Okay, it seems like it isn't actually actively attached somewhere, as far as I can see. Hmm. Okay, can we just pull this out then? Yep. Okay, pull that down. And, hmm. Okay. And then we send you off that way. Probably bump into a thing or two, but it hopefully will bring something else loose. Oh. I mean, you're right, they did loosen that up. Okay, send you after that. And yeah, this, this protection thing isn't actually connected directly to the ship for some reason. Hmm. Might be good, considering it's supposed to protect. So if it did get a bump, it shouldn't accidentally... It's better to get loose instead of ripping a porty ship with it. Yeah, it, was so, it was connected to the iron ring. Oh yeah, true. 
Hmm. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm not a ship expert. Okay. Uh, what was... Oh, I is now cancelled tethers. I thought that... I thought it was B before. Wait, what? Uh, I thought it was uh, V, like in very. Oh, V! Move you that way. Okay. Hmm. Actually, is the... Wait, what does all of that mean? Does that mean that it can't tell if it's... Ah, oh, that's odd. That's definitely new. Hmm. And again, I very much doubt that the cockpit has atmosphere left, seeing as it's floating free. Tether supplies are low. Okay. Your connection points are inside, I believe. That I do remember. And yeah, no atmosphere. But they're all stuff. A lot of stuff. I'll be taking that. Um, that looks new. I'm not sure. If, yeah, I'm not sure if we have that one, so it's grabbing it all the same. Oh, got something on it? Yep. Or there we go. <laughs> it wasn't actually planned to have, have that happen, but okay. Uh, now there it is. It's not going to land in it. There we go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, hello. There's a ship going down there. Okay. Coolant tanks. Let's have a look. Coolant We should take into all of all of those in the beginning. Maybe. Hot clamp. And that's a grade 3. Okay. But these are grade 2, so these we can just simply cut. Still, let's get a bit of distance to see what happens. Okay. Now, okay, all of that can be removed now. So we don't have to pull the coolant tanks off of their clamps, we just have to release them. And yeah, here's the one that we hit. <laughs> Um, that reminds me actually, these things are supposed to have level 2 reactors, so we should be careful. Yeah, there's an ECU. Yeah, there, if there's an ECU, there's a reactor level 2, so we'll have to be careful not to... F okay, where the heck is this pipe going on the other side? It's just a dead end. Unless... No, you didn't hit it. And did we get the notification of how much those coolants are worth? Um, if it was and I missed it, it is in there. Okay. Let's uh, let's it, finish it, up with the cockpits. And those are thirty thousand. Okay, so we can pair those out for a bit less loss. Taking all of those. Is that a Pepsi? Wait, if that's Pepsi. Oh no! Pepsi Man is coming! <laughs> okay. Once we're done with this thing, we can open up the other airlocks, completely empty this thing of air, and then we'll get to the reactor. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Airlock console. And I would say, uh, let's save uh, all the cool, uh, coolants first before you dare to do the reactor. Or uh, if, if we remove too much coolants, it'll go uh, critical because it well, it won't be cooled anymore. Okay, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Leave them on. Leave them on. Leave them on. Okay. 
What, the, the other one was six, it was 30,000. Why is this one 60,000? <coughs> Better version? Or actually, could that be the full value? Not the, uh, <coughs> the value we got was just, uh, yeah, the cheap val... <coughs> okay, what? What is going on when I throw it? Okay. I very much doubt that the pebble somehow ended up in my throat. Hmm. Pe I'm guessing. Pebble. Hmm. Oh, Anyways. No. <clears throat> Here they are. are you telling me you're eating stones for digestion? No. <clears throat> Good for you to eat it. Bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the game, in order to prevent you from tearing up too much stuff, that uh, you actually get double the uh, double penalty for destroying parts for well parts. Because <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I can make yeah, that I can think of that would make sense for why that thing suddenly gave us a penalty of double its actually actual value. Okay, okay, that's just rank three. Actually, there's cutting points on the inside. I can just do that because all of... Actually, no, that goes into the parts. This goes into the processor. So we have to use this one. And there'll be one on the other side. Okay. There we go. Take our distance. Okay. You are not floating into the furnace on my watch. No. Let's see. Enough. No atmosphere at all in this section. Okay, so we should be safe to work here. Careful now. Uh, why is there so yeah. much soda in the reactor? Uh, uh, near yeah. the reactor. Uh, yeah. One? Uh, we should be able to pluck out a few of these before things get... Re oh. Wait, is this thing we're still working? Okay, no, it's not. So that's why there's no... It's just plain broken from the start. We had nothing to do with that. I mean, so why is that soda bottle inside the reactor? Realize, oh, you're still outside the reactor. Yeah, the reactor is through here. Double check, no atmosphere. Up Do I see? Powered. So I read metal scrap in that I feel like should not be loose. Yeah, this bit. Yeah. You can't actually like, grab that. Oh. Okay. Unpowered, unpowered. Okay, so this entire half just doesn't have power, even though it's right next to the reactor. Which means we're going to have to cut our way in. Let's get you out of the way. Yeah, that'll fit. There's nothing behind it. There we go. What Much easier the? than... <laughs> Much easier than trying to cut a custom hole around. I did not know you could do that. No, that's because we've ha we've hardly ever used it across these what eight the eight previous streams. Hold it, you mean you ever haven't had a single reason to do it until now? I know we've tried it at mean? least once to uh, re try and remove a floor, but it was too damaged to actually re be able to do that. Okay. okay. Um, there should... Yeah, there's the fuel thing. Here's this beauty. Let's undress it real quick. It should be completely Alien. safe. <laughs> what? Don't, get, don't make me get the bunk. Okay, there we go. There, there is free floating. Okay. That, and that. Okay, is any, are any of these 
panels now free. That still needs to go. You're still stuck because of that. Okay. That we obviously aren't going to try and get that thing through that little hole. Now we're going to... We need to remove the floor. Very careful where we aim this, because we do not want to hit that or that pipe. Otherwise, things start going boom again. And I'd rather leave our... <laughs> I'd rather leave our reactor explosions at a single occurrence this stream. Yeah, and keeping all of you limps. I think you swapped a B... Uh, a P with a B there. Limps? Limbs. Limbs? You said, like, uh, I'm, I'm walking with a limp. But that's not how you're supposed to pronounce it. <laughs> okay, so everyone... Uh, every time you uh, use the word limb, you've, you've spoken it like limb? Actually, okay. I never... Actually... Verbally, I extremely rarely use the word. <laughs> probably put it better, otherwise, people <laughs> probably would have been pretty confused when you'd say, tell them to go out on a limb with uh, something. Oh, wait, uh. yeah, I think I, say, I usually say limb, but ever since I saw, saw how it got spelled, because I was wondering, wait, are you supposed to say that? Say that that where you have that letter silent or I think I heard some English character say limp from limp. <laughs> well I would say just limp from limb. Yeah. No. Okay, don't bump that maybe, thing too much. Could it be an accent thing perhaps? Could be. Okay. You go oh hello there. You still have a date with the processor. Okay, good thing that... Yeah. Let's not try and remove the reactor without any tethers to make it easier. Okay. So we head back. Three, two, one. Nope. Oh, all right. But you're upside down. Let's see, might as well fuel as well. Okay, now let's get busy again with pulling this thing apart. Okay, I actually saw our MP points go up there as the, uh, the thing got pulled apart there. It's that good, or...? Yeah, they, that's the mastery points that we need for upgrading stuff. <clears throat> or going up in rank. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. That is good. That is good. Yeah, good. We need to pull this thing off of it. There, and then another one there to balance it out. And that should leave us with a clear path to throw this thing down. Up. There. Okay. Just for security, work away as many things as possible. I think it should be safe to do this. Emphasis on shirts. I will hide on the table. Go. What do you do? Okay, that turned off the fuel. You could you could see the the lights turn off. So yeah, it should be safe to pull this thing out now. The one thing that you do not want to touch at all with this thing is the wait, coolant. Wait, 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 wait. There's another fuse. Fuse. Is it okay? I don't see a fuse. Uh, I mean, a fuel! 
Yes. Oh, we're there. Master coolant. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I thought the blue would make it a bit more obvious. Oh. Oh, what got the how, what? how the hell did okay i guess we got a bit too close to it did oh, we well. save it yeah did it break we say we saved it. it yeah it's in there we got paid for it oh. all right now we can well we can pull this thing off safely already I actually loose. thought you were, you, everything were to explode again. I, for a moment, I did think it blew up in my face. <laughs> that was just electrical shock. Okay, lesson learned. Is if we get too close to it, we get zapped. Just an electrical shock. But don't give a fuck up for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just an electrical fall. Next to the fun? What? <laughs> no! Just a literal shock and you just gave a thumb up with a proud smile. <laughs> uh, okay. oh. yeah, now we can mostly safely tear this thing apart. So let's see how many of those salvage marks but it's oh, balance what I'm stuck on. Let's see how many of those salvage marks we can get. First off, pluck that off, because these things, for some reason, are really pricey. Yeah. Inspecting... 450. Secure. Might be expressing tech. And you go down to the barge. Down you go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, seems we also have just plain Salvage empty slots transferred. on this thing. Let's see. I see more connection points. Oh, hello. Now this thing is, yeah, depressurized. So we can just cut there. Still have no clue where, why the hell these things are here when they lead to nowhere. Actually, okay, there's no stuff, there's no coolant in them. Or they, they might just be a modular thing for yeah, connecting larger coolant tanks behind it. So you should be able to just cut them safely. Yep. Wait, hmm. what are they called? Oh, it's, okay, it's not. Oh, it's reinforcement. It's not a pipe. Okay. Okay, you, it's basically the pillars then. Yep. Oh, wait, no, look. No. You know something that you keep seeing the reinforcer connected? It peels you off a roof. Yeah. Okay. Might as well cut these. Now, where? There they are. Yep. Stuck. Destroying a bit of the paneling behind it, but well. Okay. They really put a lot of reinforcement on this part. Uh, then again, it is only, it's an exposed air uh, lock. So, yeah. It would make sense that you'd want that to be extra secure. Yeah. Okay. These here. What am I stuck on? Okay. You. And this one as last. And then we should be able to pull everything apart. This is already loose. Okay. Nope. Yep. There we have one final. Okay, now this thing should be entirely disconnected. Okay. And let's just send this one off again. And continue here. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. 
Let's just work from the back to the front. Okay. Starting with this. We should be able to cut off the smallest pieces of this. Like that. And then pull all of this away to the processor. I'm not going to touch the coolant yet because that is still filled. We will need to empty out the ECU for that. As for this, this is one big chunk. So let's head back in. <laughs> Round Jungus. Actually, you, you know, you know where that comes from, the big Jungus uh, meme with Bugs Bunny. Yeah, I got a little curious of that. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, I need to pull them loose. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that's from an old episode with Bugs Bunny, and yeah, they actually <laughs> that apparently became popular and well known enough that they actually added Big Chungus as a character in the uh, Looney Tunes mobile game, World of Mayhem, if I remember correctly. So yeah, Seriously? Big Chungus is canon. <laughs> oh my God. Shouldn't that be empty now? Okay. Go my way through again. It should be empty of coolant. It says like it's still in there. Scanner damage. Should still work well enough. Okay. Mm. okay. We're going to need to take out the floor here to get that thing out and give myself a better escape in case there still is coolant in that thing. Actually, we should be able to hear if it has anything in it. <laughs> and then hearing something, but I'm not sure if it is coolant. What the? What? Um, okay, what the? The hell did we? What even? What even caught on fire there? The coolant? I find that doubtful because it's supposed to be, well, cooling. Is the panel on fire? What the hell? Is that thing lined with as no, asbestos wouldn't burn? What, what would be the opposite of asbestos? No idea. The heck? That's, I'm quite certain that aluminium paneling isn't supposed to catch on fire. Flammable uh, paint? Oh, well. Let's get back to this then. I weigh you. Then we can cut it, the last bit from below. Come on, let me weasel back through here. Because so I'm not getting close to that panel again. He's okay. getting close to the panel again. And that should do. There Boom. we go. Okay. Now that is loose. And, whoa, that, that's moving a lot on there. Okay. Come on. And away. Oh, I forgot to miss... I missed these here. Uh, this is all processor stuff, so we can just leave it in one go. Uh, it would be a bit tricky to get it to the processor. Since we'd have to get it past the gravitational field of those. Let's see. That should stay safe at that range. Just let it go for a bit. Send this one after. Yeah, that those are this is safe. Okay. And it's still burning! Why? 
<laughs> what the hell, yeah. Okay. It, you... Maybe there are some coolants are all flammable if exposed to fire, but... Uh, we'll just have to leave it to one of the world's mysteries for now, I guess. That will be we soon find out. And what isn't a mystery is that my mug needs a refill. So there we go. Yeah, the pirate needs his uh, cocoa milk. <laughs> <laughs> you look so funny down on the, the camera. <laughs> Just bending over weirdly for the uh, hot cocoa. Okay. Now then, I can now I can do. Actually, what is that? What the? Uh, what the heck? Your activity has dropped below nominal levels. Please return to work. Did you just? Yep. Okay. Uh. But that's. It should have been empty of. <laughs> oh come on. Wait. Your next of kin will be built for unre. Oh come on, jackasses. And that's how they got him, at least. But seriously, we em we emptied out the coolant, so that that should have been empty of coolant. Less. There's still coolant the tanks on the damn thing. Yeah, but that isn't connected to this. It shouldn't be connected. And but looks what like we are? lost the ECU. And again, this isn't supposed to burn, so I'm guessing we found a bit of a glitch. That already got covered with, with whatever they blew up. Like, mm. gasoline? Or something? It shouldn't be, because we, we emptied out the fuel. Hmm. Unless we missed some fuel tank? Nah, I didn't see any at all. We, there's only the coolant tanks there. And... Hmm. Well, at least it wasn't a reactor explosion. And yeah, this is our first... Uh, uh, I mean, Helian's first death? Uh, how does it feel? Uh, good as new, I'm... Processing valuable okay. okay. Do I have to that. question one thing? Beside a barely animated piece, um, why didn't they give you both eyes back? <laughs> uh, Link's being cheap asses. I'm not entirely uh, yes. sure if I'll keep the the eye patch. It was mostly put on the model because the <clears throat> because the camera is viewing me at an angle and so wouldn't be showing one or wouldn't be able to track one eye correctly. Okay. Uh, Link, sorry about you're that. Right? Hmm. There's still some fluid in the throat whilst they were speaking, I think. Ah. Here's the fix. Yeah. Just give me a, a pat on the back with a hammer. Okay. Just, just in case people don't pat someone on the back with a hammer, just don't. Okay, so the, the cutting things have more of an effect than they actually show, it, it seems. It, but, oh, come on, it, it cuts through the entirety of that, but not through this. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Pull you down, then. Actually, that's not going to work with that, so I'll have to remove that somehow. Or I just use another charge. Last of the current sets. So 
Let's make you count. There, should be okay. And bang. There we go. Now it's split in two. Peel that thing apart. Tether supplies running low. Yes, yes. Okay. We still haven't lost one we still haven't lost any of our checkpoints with this. Okay. How much are you? The airlock consoles are quite expensive. And the normal buttons are... See, that's nanocarbon. Aluminium. And... 24,000. They really upped the price of these things, I think. What the heck? But well, it's only I saw on the... Yeah, cloning thing. I really dislike the idea to force someone stepped onto your closest skin. Or at least the costs. And then again, that is generally what funeral costs are for. Yeah, the funeral costs, fine, but the depth? Like, uh, here's, here's the case, like, the, like all lost equipment? Your closest skin are supposed to pay for? Yeah. That That's bullshit. Yeah, a lot of the rules that they have, and the lack of rules as well, they are bullshit. Uh, let's yeah, so see. If I do remind me, but is is it this I think that only happens in America? For I don't think I ever heard this happen anywhere else. A good chance that it does happen in other places that just get less attention in the news and such. Or movies I, in general. So that's, yeah, I feel like it's a very common trope in uh, in some games and movies set in America. Yeah. Okay. No, maybe they're just exaggerating it. For okay. So these two. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit. There. There. Okay. Now we're really starting to tear this thing up. Okay. Rip and tear, Hillian. Rip and tear. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do Doom and Doom Eternal eventually, but we already have a, a schedule as is. Yeah, well, fun fact. Original Doom, Doom game, the very first one, was supposed to have five characters. Okay. Though, yeah, the the original maker of Doom just left uh, due to, I think that due to that the, the entire team was wanted to as minimalistic as possible. It felt like for him. What's that? They don't uh... a good game. Oh. Was that American McGee, perhaps, that you're meaning now? It might be. I'm still learning the names. Okay. I don't know. They actually took some of his character ideas and recycled them into a game called Triad? Rise of Triad? Okay, I've heard of that one. Yeah, they basically recycled most of their character concept onto that game instead. There. And... After hearing Wait. that from, since it was from Boob Doom Bible, I feel like, huh, maybe Doom would be more successful if they had, like, five characters to play from. So it was not just one Doom guy, like, you had a, maybe five to choose from. Okay, why are these scrap? Were they too close to the explosion or something? Odds. Can we even pull you out of there? Yes, we can. Okay, odds. Yeah, they, they must have been too close to the demolition charts. Hm, too I bad. hope they did not damage uh, too much uh, things down there. Yeah, only these. Once it's in the barge, it can't be damaged anymore, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, much of everything else should have been damaged, as those things are in the barge. 
Yeah, the, the red, the red is what it doesn't accept. So let's just send that up there. Okay. And this was from before the explosion. Hmm. I think. Huh. Okay. Now then, back to these. All of these should be loose. Okay. okay, I have you a feeling. Want in there, yes. What if mm -hmm. uh, what if this random thing that we die from was meant to happen just to let force you to experience death? Uh, I doubt it. I, I think the game just glitched a bit because the coolant system should have been empty. I just I just thought the scanner was showing faulty information or something. These give a good chunk of money as well. Ooh, we can Nine. see what they're worth now. How yeah. much were they worth? Uh, 91 and a half K for the coolant tank, and you're still stuck. And that 22 is... for the clamp. So about and they come together. 11. Yeah, yeah that, that is a chunky amount of money. Oh, you are still attached. I must have missed you. I thought I caught all of these, or... Oh well. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. Okay, I'll just dunk these down. And... Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> there we go. Okay. Then I'll go get the fuel. Wait, yep, I pulled that one in the wrong spot. Oh, wait, so I remember something. I think I should share. Something I saw on a, a YouTube. I saw some YouTube clips uh, from about the uh, things that's uh, seen on Reddit. So, like they make a list on Reddit, like uh, oh. boss moments and such. And one of the lines, not from boss moments, was about a yeah a Karen. The headline was basically, I'd rather throw out my kids in front of a boss than let them play games. Uh, and those people That's... wonder why later in life they'd end up alone. Yeah, that was, that was, that was it. There's nothing wrong with games. Treat your kids with respect. Be stern when needed, but be, be kind when needed and all that. Your balance. Balance. Yeah. Nope. Careful. Um, also, well, some people yeah. have been... Uh, some people have been... Uh, I thought something else was also speaking of. Uh, some people have been... Uh, wanting to move away from uh, using the name Karen as a term like that because yeah, there are still people named that uh, who are yeah not too glad to be associated with such behavior. Yeah, I can't understand that. As quick as uh, I understood uh, what they mean with Karen, I feel like, oh, that's, that's probably going to be a problem. Yeah, spoiled and adults. Yeah. Yeah, there's more it says we broke it up. There are some people that think they are trying to protest against it, though uh, they seem to have painted the hair with the name Karen and a, a forbidden mark over it. Wait, what? They painted on their hair yeah, that, a but they did a other half. A, a circle with a uh, red line over. Oh, that. And I just painted it on the side of the hair. Uh, okay. Though, at this point, I think, from how they looked, I think they were ac the actual hair. The people they call Rats. Karens and not the... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Some cuts here, and we should be able to chuck the entirety of this thing into the furnace. Oh, ac actually, no, that, oh. That's processor. But would that be enough material? To actually, actually, yeah, nanocarbon is pretty pricey. 
So it would it should pay to have some demo charges put in place to separate all of this. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, eight in total. So it would have to make it would have to give us 10k to be worth it for that. Uh, how many Actually, demo charges do we have on at the moment? I think we have zero. And the heck is that over there? What are you? Piece of scrap? Okay. <laughs> no idea what that used to be. It, uh, I think that it's what's ever exploded. Okay, that's 10 p.m. mark. But we started late, so we're still going. Um, yep. Right, uh, just because we spoke about that horrible Karen, oh, I don't know what I would call those people, spoiled adult or what, yeah, just but I'm gonna... Uh, go on. Maybe just uh, adult brats would yeah, work best. So, yeah, yeah, I guess adult... the, it's a literal description of what they are. Yeah, I think like adult brats suits better, but yeah, I want to go to something a bit more pleasant and cute. There's apparently a, someone's cat named Oliver, apparently. Mm -hmm. And instead of bringing birds and rats and such, he brings in tea bags. <laughs> oh yeah, you said that. Yeah, you also can share that for the stream. Anyone who watches the stream sense. That is cute, and the reason cats do bring a rat and bird to you occasionally is they work for you and they they want to make sure you eat well and so they do it as a gift and all that. They look it off yeah. to you. <laughs> probably they probably don't realize you don't eat rat and all that. At least Oliver yeah. gets uh, seems to learn that humans like tea. <laughs> Cat or they just like the smell and collect it. Uh, but which he was actually I... giving it to, to, to the owner. <laughs> okay. Uh, that reminds me of something I might have told of before. Um, oh. uh, with one of our cats. Uh, she would occasionally bring in anim uh, dead animals like that. Mostly uh, for their, their own foods. But... Uh, one thing at one time she had a rather interesting catch uh, she'd stolen someone's dinner <laughs> yeah what? She, she came in with a a warm uh, smoked sausage <laughs> so she'd literally stolen that from someone's plate <laughs> <laughs> you, you expected it to happen with a seagull a raccoon, but a cat? But the only other thing, animal I would think would steal food like that are dogs that they haven't been trained properly. Yeah, and we, to this day we still have no freaking clue from who she stole that from because nobody has... What the... Oh. Those were still pressurized. Oh well. Uh, oh, pressure... I thought it was a good to explode again. Uh, there, should, there shouldn't have been anything in there to cause damage. And we didn't get a notification of something breaking. Uh, oh. I think I should share some interesting stories about my family. Uh, I think I have two stories about my family's bunnies. No. Uh, let's see. On my mother's side, she had a bunny that ate after eight chocolate, and he was just fine. And he actually tried to steal it from one of her friends. Only basically, her friend was in her room while her mother was away eating with her parents. Just the other, other room and such. Then he snuck in while her friend was reading, and he snuck his head into the box just as he closed it. Oh, come on. He, he's, he's fine, but he did panic. And of course, scare her. Because he did not expect to uh. be a bunny in the box. Bunny in the box. <laughs> that's going to be a line. Yeah, okay. and now, but that's not a stranger. Let's go to my dad's side. His bunnies were special. Okay. 
They ate sausages and meatballs. Okay, I'm pretty sure <laughs> bunnies aren't supposed to be carnivorous. Yeah, I think I heard bunnies eat dead born uh, kids. I think the bunny babies are called kids. If I'm wrong, people are welcome to correct me. But yeah, uh, um, that's an info I'm very unsure of, but yeah, his his bunnies ate sausages and meat boss, just felt like... But I heard I like, what? And the weirdest thing my bunnies ate were... popcorn. <laughs> they they uh. tried banana, but they did not like it. Wait, I have five? Okay, one extra. No, okay, here's the thing. One time I... I actually dropped a wine gum, and one of them had gotten to it. They only ate half, but good gods, the energy she had. <laughs> she would not stop running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She even uh. tackled the bathroom door a few times. <laughs> and it was open, so she just basically bonked it back and forth a few times even. Uh. Okay. And I was wondering, what the heck has got into her? Then I saw, oh, then I saw then <laughs> the wine gum in the corner, half feet. I thought, uh, I'll take that away now, before she yeah. has the rest of it. Okay, now let's have a see if it is actually worth it to detach all of this. Uh, for people wondering. Bunnies can eat popcorn. That's safe. If I remember right, Pop popcorn is safe for bunnies. Just probably don't salt them. Unless you want your uh, Christmas dinner to be uh, seasoned from within. Don't you dare! <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay. That is now completely loose. Or, well, it's loose from everything else. We still need to remove it from this. Cut through a few times. And we should be able to... Actually, no, that's still... Okay, we should be able to... Yeah, we. this is loot. And disconnected. Actually, we should be able to do the same there. We... Uh, Actually, no, we, we still have a... F let's finish up this ship, and then we'll call it. No, that shirt... Okay, no, no, these are still attached, so... This one has taken quite a, a lot of time. Yeah, it is a pretty big one. Yeah, the, okay, I so think the one that took longest was the first one. Um, the, the first one were rather... Um, torn apart. Yeah. So it's not exact, not exactly organized sh sh uh, throwing stuff in the right direction. You had so many tiny pieces accidentally. Is this still connected somewhere? It should be completely loose. It does Lucy look Lucy Hood? But Lucy Hood? No? How, how, what's it saying again? Lucy Lucy? Uh, lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Oh yeah, that, that's how it goes. And it seems our tethers can't reach that far. Uh, let's try and send it up there then a bit. Now is that still attached at the other end? It, it looks to be. Why, why are you moving? I thought I cut every part of you. Oh, there's still one over there. Okay. There, now it is loose. Okay, then we can pluck that off, and that is being removed from the super uh, structure, or at least a protective brace. Okay, now, if you aren't worth 10 you know, K, you are not worth to be it to be removed from that thing. Okay, off you go. Go. Yeah, it is moving. 
It just didn't seem to be because we were moving as well. Okay, we just gotta keep an eye on how much we gain from that. Yeah, just as... Boom. Pardon? Just as that one was going to run out. In the meantime, we can continue removing bits and pieces from the rest. Uh, there's nothing here left. We can move that to the furnace. First, we're leaving... We're waiting for that to be processed so we can see if it was even worth the cost. I need to aim at the middle part there so it'll cut both at the same time. Go oh, button. Oh, okay, uh. I... <laughs> uh wait, I. Uh, 21k, 160k. Okay, yeah, that was definitely worth it. That's nice. definitely worth it to remove this, the surrounding structure. We still have a few yeah, of these. I will trust you for the Sush to be pixelated again. This actually censored the entire price tag. <laughs> okay. I'm censoring me. I see all a yellow bar. New numbers. And that goes to the furnace. And yeah, we still have the airlocks attached here. It's like I wouldn't have needed to pull that one out because it would be <laughs> would have gone down with the airlock itself. Okay. There. Okay, we'll just have to refill our demo charges after we deal with this. Okay, send you down. And the rest of this is furnace. But no, there's a... This thing is processor. Anything else for the processor? Nope. So off you go. Valuable object process. Okay. Yeah, we really torn this thing asunder, huh? Yeah. Both intentionally and accidentally. Uh, mostly intentionally. <laughs> okay. Uh, after the stream, I'll take a look at the footage of how it went. Uh, probably send it to the one person I know that also does, you know, who does VTubing a lot longer than, well, us since this is the first time. And yeah, I'll just get, I'll see what tips they'll have to give for everything. Oh dear. Yeah, the only um, thing I would say is missing from your model is a beard. If uh, yeah. it is supposed to resemble you. Yeah, I, I didn't find... Actually, did I... I think that was an option, but I must have overlooked that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the timer, but we are... We're finishing this ship off and then we'll call, we're calling it. So we are... Yeah, we're just going for some extra time. Uh, wait, salvage power? Didn't I throw that thing down already? Oh, there it is. It's stuck in it's stuck in midair. Um, yeah, it's weird that some of these things sometimes just lose their momentum. Wait, that yeah. hadn't been in. Congratulations, Cutter. You've secured your first power generator. Okay, guess we are going to double check if everything has gone through here. Correction, Helian. Stuck mid space. <laughs> True. Um, this. Uh, don't worry, people. I, I like to just be a little yak as we don't play fully. <laughs> this movie has done that to me a, a few times as well. So pay back. Well... Don't mess with the listeners. But listen, we mess with you in return. I 
believe we are one short for completely cutting this thing off. Yes, we have one charge and there's two here. Okay. So we're going to play the cool guys and not look at the explosions. Okay. Don't be smell burnt. I wish your ours burning. Uh. All right. Fill up on those one last time. Right, what do you fill up on? And the demo charges. Since we we are one short on where, where the hell is it gone? Uh, did it get? <laughs> okay, where the hell <laughs> did it get launched around by the detonations? <laughs> where the fuck is it? <laughs> Okay, well, that was a loss then, I'm guessing. <laughs> what uh, the heck? Yeah, it must have been... It must have gotten blown out of the yard or something. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, the, those detonation charges can still uh, move things around quite a bit. So, yeah. We probably should have started on this section with dismembering it so that it doesn't bounce around all over the place. Okay. If I should make, a, make it fly ooh, 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 ooh. into the furnace, don't throw yourself in. Okay, they didn't get moved around as much because there was only one going off. But yeah, a series of those going off can shake things quite a bit. Now, we pull that out. Oh, no. Can we reach five? We should be able to. Oh, come on! Well, I didn't miss... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't miss the debris there. Come on, pull yourself out. It's your high-tech bootstraps. Hey, one, one of those processing? Uh, that is for the furnace. The outer area is for the processor. Alright, I can barely see you do to the game designed to be pixelated again. <laughs> uh, best choice would be to look for the color when I'm aiming at something then. Yeah, that, that's what I'm doing, but I can I can only see the color. I think the mm. rest of it is at the moment camouflage with the background. Okay. Uh, I, I could try and stream the game to you at 480p, which is the lowest that it'll go. That at least should maybe help with pixelation. Hmm. Therefore, the pixelation is not due to my internet at this time, for my voice meter is good. And uh, yeah, I see no uh, yellow dot on Discord saying uh, internet issues yep. or something. Okay, another case of an open door policy. We're going a bit too far. What the heck? Why the hell? Yeah, why the hell were those things launching out of this? There wasn't any atmosphere behind them. <laughs> uh, for the ejector seats, but ejected doors is a new one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh oh. Helian, you... Mm. Why? Helian, why? What? You, you may not have given the developers an idea... <laughs> ...of ejector seats uh, in the game. How are we going to get this loose without losing as... <clears throat> ...with losing a minimal amount of stuff? The best I can think Muscle of is to just on. cut through here. And then go at an angle and cut out the remaining bits. Okay. These aren't fully connecting, but I'll just correct that in a bit. So there should do. And one more here. Could have made most of this. Let's see. 
Okay, it looks like it should be loose from the outer ridge, but let's do double check. Uh, oh, I'm trying to probably say it. Some of these things I re said today about the, the cat getting tea bags and the cat ran out of I learned those from a YouTuber called Mkai. Okay, it seems we're out of tethers. I can recommend people to give me a watch for. They are entertaining. They are entertaining. Okay. Well, here we go with this fuel tethers. Okay. Now, before that comes around, it, wait, what? Okay. Okay. Does that draw distance on those things? That was a first, I think. Oh. Back to this. If I did... Actually, is it connected there? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can't tell if it is completely loose or not. I think there is another layer of this, so let's do that. Processing valuable Credit awarded. Oh, I think it's an, an, a crazy idea. I wonder if it is possible. Hmm? Through the entire ship into processing or furnace. <laughs> I think we had thought about that at one point. <laughs> Yeah, I think we spoke about it, but have you, haven't you said you tried it or something? Uh, no, I haven't actually tried that. Hmm. We could we could do that with uh, uh, the next stream that we just start off with uh, a Mac ball and just throw it into the processor and let it be at that. See if that is enough to give us uh, half a million. That or just the. Uh special cutscene or something? Yeah, that I doubt. Um... I, I could see, see Weaver have a response. <laughs> like, it's one of those things that feels like the, the NBC should be responding to you to, for that. Yeah, and perhaps. Probably, probably really, could be a better really humorous. Okay, this thing is complete again. Uh, let's pull that off. Then we can remove the airlock. Maybe. Uh, okay, just wrestle the physics with each other for a bit. Hmm. Okay. Don't forget this thing because it's for the barge. How much is that? It's not actually giving us a price. Okay. Not the first time it's done that. Okay. And we start blocking the last of this. And it does look like it is loose from the rest of it. Because it is at a different angle. Okay. Uh, that means that we should be able to just pull it all out. Okay, first, let's see if the open door policy continues. Yep, it does. <laughs> Seriously, why do they do that? <sighs> okay, you there. Oh, that gave me an idea. Hmm? Door cannons. Uh, that way. Next. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not going to do much. One more time. I do wonder if Weaver has anything to say if we manage to 100% salvage the ship. Like every little nook and cranny bit. 
if he's not gonna do things that they should they record, unless it's one of those things that are almost impossible to do. Where did this one go outwards? Okay. Either way, let's remove all of this on the inside. And, well, we actually gone been going a little bit longer than I thought with this. About yeah, I was just to comment on that. Okay. Well, let let's just quickly do this, and then we'll call it. Um, yeah, we can. We should be able to drop most of this into the furnace once the valuables are out. Actually, I could have let that one sit. Come on. Okay. Um, posters, fuel tanks, a few pipes, which for some reason still have the freaking fuel and coolant in them. Maybe that's what was the... Helian. What if that was the reason that the things blew up and burnt earlier? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, this, this game is still in, in early access, so it's, it's always still going to have some funky bits. Hmm. Funky? Alright, we're going to Funky Town. Alright, alright. Okay. Come on, Mr. Table. And now... Flip the table! Flip it! <laughs> Good boy! Okay, yeah, I'm definitely leaving games alone. Those can be destroyed without much problem. Well, problem for us at least. Okay. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Wait, the poster weighs 12 kilo? What? Uh, okay, it must, have, it must be one of those metal uh, posters then. Yeah, that, that would make the most sense. It, because cloth posters probably would have been, uh, would have decayed by now. Are posters even made from cloth? Plastic, I'm pretty sure of. What? Hmm? Posters are usually made of paper. Right. That as well, yeah, but that would have decayed as well. So I'm, I'm guessing these posters are metal. Possibly do very thick metal for... 10, 12 kilos is a lot for a yeah. poster. Uh, anything else in here? Except for however that happens. Okay. Now then, time to pull... Actually, that's not going to fit, because that is blocking... The beams are blocking that, so we'll have to cut this down. Okay, probably... Yeah, I, I should cut these a lot closer. Can I pull it out now? Hmm. I think I should be able to. Let's see. Okay, it's trying. And it's free. Okay. Freedom! Let's leave some furnace bits. Oh, uh, well. And the rest of this goes to the processor. Oh, come on, there's a bit in the way. Is there any way I can aim this to get around it? It's at the top here. Uh, actually, it can easily be fixed by just giving it a bump like that. There we go. And you get going as well. Alright. 
now we're finishing this up. Still some bits flying around, but we can miss the little bits. And we definitely should be hitting the mark once all of these pass through. Processor. Oh. Foods. You see, fuel to the furnace. Yep. Oh, uh, apparently there was a. Oh, yeah, there were two storage bins still in there, but we would have had to pull loose the uh, the, the fuel lines. Oh well, we're done with it, and we have enough to get a new rank as well. That must, okay, we must have gotten 20,000 points from this or something then, or, or more than that. Let's see, 10,000 from that. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. And how much did we lose? Uh, about 70,000. So yeah, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely worth the time though. A uh, rank to one of those, a uh, rank to javelin, and, uh, journey person, okay. And uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, journey per one thing we, one thing we'll need to check out now is if there's a, a fine, for taking the Good training. Good morning, shipbreaker. This is your daily wake up call. Okay. Uh, Javelin heavy cargo, expanded cargo capacity for this medium-sized model means it's a popular and efficient net choice for transporting cargo via the rail gates. Our engineers said it would be impossible to make a gate-ready version of the Javelin with the structural materials on hand. Clearly a replacement was needed, the new team of engineers confirmed there was nothing wrong with the structural materials. Okay... What? That sounds like... Oh yeah, that's, this is definitely higher, let's see. Uh, oh no, that's 150 from the spare. Uh, interest. And oh, they were getting charged for the demo charts as well now. Okay, so we need to make 600,000 each day now to not go further in debt. But no, no price for the training actually. Then again, it couldn't technically be counted as training since it's not authorized. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. No void! Yeah, that, I'm guessing that's uh, something they'll have patched out now, because that crap keeping it in... <laughs> yeah, keep crapping in, but... Got it the other way around. Let's see, Ray Hobbs. Hello, stranger. I can say that I'm pretty sure whoever finds this, well, I'm not going to know you, and you won't know me. You see, when I left Earth, I I didn't really have anyone to miss because everyone I knew died in the in the Great Quake, the first one, the big one. Still don't know who how I survived. Guess I was lucky. So I thought, what the heck? Snag the first ticket to Mars, one I could find. Uh, the, uh, the first ticket to Mars I could find. Uh, started out as a janitor. Yeah, humans used to do it before the bots came in. Then one day, someone asked me if I knew how to cook, and I lied and said yes. Felt bad for the poor bastard that had to eat my mistakes for the first couple of months. Turned out to be a you know, pretty decent chef. Well, I I didn't leave quite the legacy I'd hoped, so few of us ever do, I guess. So I'm leaving this message to you, stranger, in the hopes that, it'll help, that it helps you with yours. Just be kind, stranger, be kind. I spent a lot of years angry with the world for everything wrong, wrong with my life, when I should have you know, just... You know, <clears throat> but I should have been just thankful I had a life in the first place. Just be kind. Kindness has a way of coming back around if you catch my drift. Just be kind. Thanks. Okay, Aww. good message. A good message indeed. And we have another message here. Okay, spares and you safeguarding your career growth. In 2291, when Lynx rolled out the life-changing Everwork Asset Replacement Program, and to their employees, we have achieved what other companies have not, making work safer and allowing learning and growth without the risk of permanent death. With a noble profession such as shipbreaking, unplanned death is a natural part of the job, 
their shipbreakers have bravely faced the often arduous challenges and risk of their important work. However, Lynx cares about the well-being and growth of our family. The introduction of Everwork spares to, uh, yeah, to replace damaged or destroyed bodies allows you to fail safely, ensuring another in a day in the yard. Another shot at improving your skills. For only a minimal fee, sophisticated monitoring systems in your suit will watch out for excessive bodily harm, triggering regeneration of a spare upon unfortunate workplace mishaps. An array of neural recorders in your helmet transfer your presence seamlessly. Quotation mark. Or actually, I forget what that mark is called. To the new spare, this process is mostly bearable, and recent advancements have yeah, been yeah, have even removed grief-related downtime. Uh, effectively eliminating the need for recovery between transfers. So basically you go through the trauma of dying and they immediately kick you back into the field. Uh, of course. Trade market spares. Yeah. Getting access to our spares technology is simple. Our onboarding procedure includes the collection of your genetic data, data safely stored in our secure servers. For the, from the moment you join us, you no longer need to worry about expiring before your time. Death is a fresh start. Uh, <clears throat> presence transfer protocol has a plot uh, has an error margin of 0.001 percent due to solar interference signal strength the subject state of mind at the moment of transfer and other factors over very long periods of time this may result in an identity shift medically benign process with minimal impact on subjects working ability aka driving them crazy uh. Honestly, in a part, I'm, I wonder if there are people using this stuff to basically become immortal. Because so it would be possible. Yeah, do. There is always a problem, as you see, sci-fi. If you do clone too many times, there might be issues. Yeah. Well, yeah. For now, uh, this will have to do. Uh, oh, I, you can even see the handprint from here. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. dear. Uh, I, pl I plan to give this game a few more streams, not too many, before we move on to something else on Saturdays. Uh, I mostly just want to show off the, ex the new stuff that was added. And after next stream, if we don't have access to the bigger ships yet, I'll just uh, off-screen a, a bit. I'll record it, if possible. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then start the stream from there. I'll, anything, any important bits, I'll just uh, stick up front with the stream, so we can, yeah, you people don't have to miss, yeah, miss that. <clears throat> Some, something really wrong when I throw it at the moment. It seems. Oh well. Uh, yes, Bernardo. Uh, yeah, we have Showcase Sunday tomorrow. I'll probably try using this as well there. Uh, I'll get some... Uh, I'll see about getting some uh, tips on improving things. <clears throat> but, yeah, beyond that, there's nothing really too much to mark on. Uh, anything you want to say, Drakir? Hmm, I don't have much to say, actually. Okay. One thing I'll certainly be doing with this thing, though, is that I'll swap... Actually, I can do that right now. I'll flip this over, because every time I look at the camera, it looks more like I'm looking the other way. So, let's see... Yeah, it looks to me forward. like you're there all looking go. towards something. Yeah, that's because... Let's see, actually, I have to... Okay, for some reason, it is what is shown on... And no, I already flipped it now, but... Um, yeah, what you see on uh, Discord was already flipped for some reason. Okay, that's odd. Hmm. But yeah, I'll I'll see about getting some tips with this. Uh, hopefully, improve it. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't too stupid to look at. But <clears throat> yeah, for now, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And I'm still doing the hand movements, even though these <laughs> those aren't visible on the model. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh well, uh, I'll, there is a way to get hand tracking to work, I believe. But I'll just have to look if, well, and how to do that. Uh, yeah. 
tomorrow showcase sunday and yeah until then have a nice day and until then be safe folks